Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see some important multiple choice questions and also some uh, uh, points from the pharmacology chapter ethyl and methyl alcohols. So this chapter is a, a small chapter and uh, there are some important points in this chapter normally coming for the examinations and this is very simple chapter also so we will move to the first question the patient patients treated with the following drug should be cautioned not to consume alcoholic beverage the patient is taking some drug and the patient should be warned don't take alcoholic beverage which was the medicine who is checking options are mebendazole metronidazole methimazole metamizole the correct answer is metronidazole why why because when we are taking metronidazole along with alcoholic beverage or the patient who is already treated with the metronidazole and he consume alcoholic beverage definitely he, have, he will get disulfiram like reactions disulfiram like reaction that is disulfiram it's we know that that is used for aversion therapy disulfiram like reactions means if uh, uh, there will be burning sensation burning sensation will be there okay burning sensation that is if a man is taken alcohol he already taking metron result that he will get burning sensation and vomiting 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 will be there then headache will be the headache headache then perspiration uneasiness tightness in the chest area uh, dizziness and uh, there's a chance for mental confusion visual disturbance these are all are known as this uh, disulfiram like reaction that is disulfiram is used for aversion therapy who is willing to uh, who is uh, already chronic alcoholics who is willing to leave this habit for them we are giving disulfiram when disulfiram is taking along for uh, along if that alcoholic patient who is taking disulfiram if he take alcohol afterwards definitely he get uh, this type of reactions that is known as disulfiram like reaction that is burning sensation vomiting headache then tightness in the chest area perspiration then uh, visual disturbance mental confusions all this so in the patient if he is taking metronidazole also if he is taking alcohol definitely he will get the same actions reactions we will move to the next question question number two disulfram is used for the treatment of disulfram is used for the treatment of options are acute alcoholic intoxication option b both physically and psychologically dependent alcoholics option c alcoholic psychologically but not physically dependent on alcohol option d both a and b the correct answer is option c option c psychological alcoholics disulfiram is used for the treatment of psychological alcoholics but not for physically dependent alcoholics next we will go for Option number, question number three ethanol is used in the case of methanol poisoning because ethanol is used in the methanol poisoning because it options antagonizes the actions of methanol option b stimulates the metabolism of methanol and reduces its blood level option c inhibits the metabolism of met methanol and generation of toxic metabolites that is ethanol inhibits metabolism of methanol and generation of toxic metabolites option d replenishes the folate stores depleted by methanol the correct answer is option c option c that is ethanol will inhibit the metabolism of methanol and generation of toxic metabolism toxic metabolite question number four 
सेफ लिमिट ऑफ डेली अल्कोहल कंसप्शन सेफ लिमिट ऑफ डेली अल्कोहल कंसप्शन इज सेम फॉर मेन एंड वुमन ऑप्शन बी रिलेटिवली लोअर फॉर वुमन देन फॉर मेन रिलेटिवली हायर फॉर वुमन देन फॉर मेन लेस देन हाफ फॉर वुमन देन फॉर मेन ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ वी विल सी सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग दिस अल्कोहल मींस इदेल दिस चैप्टर इदेल एंड मिदेल अल्कोहल we will see some alcohol terms that is absolute alcohol first one is absolute alcohol what you mean by absolute alcohol absolute alcohol is 99 percentage weight per weight ethanol that is absolute alcohol the other one is rectified spirit rectified spirit these are very confusing terms this one sometimes our questions are coming what do you mean by absolute alcohol there will be in the option 99 90 56.7 and 57.1 like that so you have to go for 99 in case of absolute rectified spirit is 90 percentage 90 percentage the next one proof spirit proof spirit proof spirit is 100 percentage proof spirit is 100 percentage proof spirit is 57.1 percentage volume bar volume methanol or 49.29 percentage weight per weight that is the 100 percentage proof spirit this is one important point then another points regarding this chapter is ethyl alcohol metabolism ethyl alcohol metabolism ethyl alcohol is this already we know that ethanol ethanol will uh, oxidize to acetaldehyde first they will move to acetaldehyde by alcohol dehydrogenase alcohol dehydrogenase dehydrogenase then acetaldehyde then converted to acetate acetate it will be converted to acetate that is by aldehyde dehydrogenase aldehyde dehydrogenase then afterwards acetate will be converted to carbon dioxide and water okay now we will move this is the metabolism of this one then we will move to the next point in case of this uh, alcohol withdrawal syndrome the opioid antagonist that is naltrexone helps to prevent in prevent relapse of alcohol naltrexone naltrexone is an opioid antagonist naltrexone naltrexone will helps in case of relapse of alcoholism it will prevent it, it will prevent relapse of alcoholism that is important point naltrexone we use it to prevent this one uh, alcohol relapse then uh, disulfiram we already talked disulfiram is also one important point aversion therapy disulfiram is used for aversion therapy aversion therapy that is the aversion therapy is actually is used for the patient who the alcoholics they are chronic alcoholics they want to leave this habit they want to leave this intake of alcohol they decide to leave this habit for them we have to get disulfiram when they are taking disulfiram afterwards if they take alcohol within means in the the disulfiram action will be remains for 1 to 2 weeks that is 7 to 14 days so in between in those days if he take the alcoholic patient take the alcohol definitely he will have disulfiram like reactions that we already talked so he will not continue the take intake of alcohol 
because of this disulfiram reaction. Now we will move to the methanol. In case of methanol poisoning, ethanol is used and ethan this fomipazole, et fomipazole is, is also used. Fomipazole is actually an inhibitor of alcohol dehydrogenase. Fomipazole is also important point. Fomipazole is also is used in case of methanol poisoning that is specific inhibitor of inhibitor of alcohol dehydrogenase alcohol dehydrogenase alcohol dehydrogenase in case of methanol it's first converted to in the same way as like ethanol by alcohol dehydrogenase methanol is converted to formaldehyde first of all then it's converted by aldehyde dehydrogenase by into formic acid formic acid the toxic effect of methanol is mainly due to formic acid so when we are giving fomipazole it will inhibit the alcohol dehydrogenase so there is no formation of formaldehyde in case of methanol so it will inhibit the formation of formaldehyde itself so one when we are giving ethanol to the patient of uh, this one methanol poisoning it will retard the methanol metabolism because Alde alcohol dehydrogenase have more affinity towards eth ethanol comparative to methanol so hope this all you understood all these things fomipazole is an or orphan drug you have to this one huh? fomipazole is, is a orphan drug is an example for orphan drug this one we know we have studied in the uh, general pharmacology session orphan drug example for orphans and orphan drug for me please always coming under that one so thank you guys for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe the channel and also press the bell button thank you for watching this video